may be asking why I'm standing in a sewage ditch next to a rather odd looking machine. Well, the answer is we're doing what's called a pipe burst sewer replacement. Now keep in mind that iron does not look hot, but it is very hot at 450 degrees. Getting the cable pushed through the line is the hardest part of a sewer job. Oh, no, stop, stop. Just in time, it hooked my pant leg. So, what we want to do, loosen up these handles, open that bad boy up, flip these open, okay? We came across a sewer replacement scenario where the sewer came out of the house and ran in between two houses that are only 12 feet apart. We can't really replace a sewer that's in between two houses 12 feet apart very easily because we have nowhere to put dirt. We build a new sewer and we butt fuse all of those pipes together. Yeah, in there. What's that do? It's a facing machine, so it faces the pipe. Pull it out. Make sure that both pieces of pipe are on the same plane, the same face. Okay, so now you're gonna drop that iron in there. And keep in mind that iron does not look hot, but it is very hot, it's 450 degrees. So you're gonna drop it in there and let it rest on these shelves, okay? Center it up just like that. Now we squeeze and apply pressure. On the count of three, I'm gonna open it up, you're gonna pull it out, and then I'm gonna smash it closed. Okay, one, two, three. And then we attach a solid steel bursting head to that pipe. Basically how this thing works is, as I pull this forward, see how it expands those jaws out? So this slides in there, these jaws actually grab the pipe from the inside out. I can tighten everything and get it to do the exact same thing. That solid steel bursting head kind of grips the inside of the pipe like a Chinese finger. We hook a cable up to that head and that cable is now fed through the sewer line. We have to get that fitting off. As we're trying to push this through, if this thing runs into an offset, it makes it very difficult to get past the offset. Spinning the cable, it can make it get past the offsets a little easier. That's why a sewer machine makes it down the sewer so fine, is because it's spinning. So as we're pulling it out of the tire, it's actually rotating a full revolution for every coil we pull out of the tire. Getting the cable pushed through the line is the hardest part of a sewer job. And this cable's nasty. Anybody see any tennis balls around anywhere? I've had luck in the past taping a ball to the end of it because that ball bounces up over something. The odds, Phyllis. Yeah. The Christmas ornament just shattered in there and we were dealing with the exact same thing we had before. Are you going to try to push it from that way? I'm trying. So right now, we are running a sewer machine, a drain auger out from the inside. One, two, three. <laughs> Got it. Just in time, it hooked my pant leg. We're gonna be able to attach the pipe bursting cable to the drain auger cable and then pull the pipe bursting cable into position. So what's gonna happen is that sewer that we built out in the yard, we're gonna feed that through that window and it's gonna come across the basement and go into that hole. And then this is a Spartan Undertaker pipe bursting machine. It pulls with 30 tons of force, that's 60,000 pounds of force. Okay, go to the left. Good. That's the right speed that we want. We are pulling a new sewer through the old sewer and bursting the old sewer out of the way as the new sewer makes its journey from point A to point B. You can hear it crunching out the side. Hey, going back down. Yeah, you're good. We're in. Now I can actually keep it off the furnace by pushing it. See that? Yeah. So at length, it's really flexible and it's really strong. So you're gonna control the whole rest of it just by sitting here on the end of it like this. So right now we're at a point where you don't wanna take a stroke unless I'm looking down in the hole. Oh, sewage. That means we're close. Okay, hold on. 
We got it. Now we're ready to lift this machine up and out of the hole, get the bursting head off. We have to let this relax for about 30 minutes before we really start hooking up to it because we've put this pipe through 60,000 pounds of stress. It's a little stretched at the moment. So we're gonna let it sit for 30 or 45 minutes and let it relax and let it go back to its, its distance that it likes. And then we'll make our connections on both ends. We'll backfill both ends. 12 or 13 years ago, there was really nobody to train you on how to do these. This was all like self-taught and just learning the hard way. And we had done, I don't know, 20 or 30 of these jobs. And we were just slam, bam, bam. As soon as we got it pulled, we were picking the head off and we were putting things together and everything, backfilling the hole and done, right? Then one job, we got pulled way early. And so we decided to get pulled and we decided to break for lunch. We come back from lunch and the bursting head has moved back like 12 inches. This is where we in first inserted the cable and the bursting head. And instead of it breaking this, it actually took it with it and drug it the whole distance. That's pretty wild. And it was our first window into the idea that we're stretching the pipe as we do this and we need to give it time to relax. <laughs> There's 30 or 40 jobs out there that I did 14 years ago before nobody knew any better that may have relaxed after we got it all hooked up and I don't even know, like, nope, we don't even know about it. Here's a perk of why you never burn bridges and why you always treat everybody with the highest level of respect you can. A former company that I used to work at, I worked there for 10 years. I ran this exact machine there for like seven or eight years when I was there. I was able to give them a call and, and they actually let me borrow their pipe bursting machine. The machinery is nowhere near the same characteristics that it was five and a half years ago. Getting back onto a job like this that we haven't done in this length of time is pretty risky, but we pulled it off and we got it. They get a high density polyethylene sewer instead of a PVC sewer. High density polyethylene is superior. It caused them less disturbance. We didn't have to dig up their whole yard and then put all that back and then have to wait for all that to settle. All we had to do was dig this small hole that's like three feet wide and five feet long. Not that big of a deal. And it's only like three or four feet deep. It's not even very deep. I'm standing in the hole and I'm six feet tall. So all in all, a pretty good deal. Am I supposed to be able to do this? Can you turn a 360? You have got to be kidding me. Right there. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs>